Hi, I'm Finlay and you're watching the Run For It YouTube channel. In this episode, I'm going to compare two of the most popular running brands around right now, Hoka and On. We get lots of customers asking us questions such as, which brand offers more cushioning? Is one more durable than the other? And ultimately, is one brand better than the other? I'm going to be answering some of those questions throughout the episode and breaking down the differences. Hope you enjoy. However, before we start, it's important to mention that there's a lot of differences between the models in each respective brand's lineup. So it's not really possible to just draw blanket conclusions as to how Hoka compare to On. Instead, it's probably more helpful to talk through how their best daily mileage running shoes compare against one another. And to back up this point, I'll talk through each brand's signature cushioning technologies and how that can vary between their models. Popular daily mileage Hoka running shoes such as the Bondi, Clifton, Gaviota and Arahi all feature a compression molded EVA foam. This is a lightweight cushioning material that should feel soft and protective under your feet. They all feature Hoka's signature Meta Rocker technology which simply means there's a curve from heel to toe. This design that's inspired by wheels helps roll your feet forward and lowers the stress on the lower leg area such as the calf muscles. Even though those models share very similar cushioning technologies, you might have noticed that they look quite different from one another. And the best example of that is the Bondi versus the Clifton. The Bondi features quite a different midsole construction and offers a lot more cushioning and a lot more protection under your feet. So as a result, they will feel quite different to run in. Popular daily mileage on running shoes, such as the Cloud Eclipse, the Cloud Monster and then the Cloud Surfer, the Cloud Stratus and Cloud Runner all feature On's unique Cloud Tech construction and helium foam cushioning. However, again, there's a lot of variability between the models. For example, the Cloud Eclipse and Cloud Surfer feature On's Cloud Tech phase cushioning. As this material collapses under your feet almost like dominoes, it creates a much smoother and softer experience than the traditional Cloud Tech cushioning in the likes of a Cloud Monster and Cloud Stratus. Models such as the Cloud Monster and Cloud Stratus also feature full length speedboards. While this increases propulsion, it also makes the midsole feel stiffer than the models that don't have those full length speedboards inside them. Again, the point of highlighting those variances in cushioning technologies within the brand is to just reinforce that it's not right to say that Hoka running shoes offer one thing and on offer another. It's just impossible to draw those blanket comparisons. However, if we talk through some of the models in a little bit more detail, we can make some comparisons between the brands. One of the most popular questions we get asked is which brand offers more cushioning, Hoka or on? To answer this question, it's probably most helpful to compare each brand's most cushioned running shoes, the Hoka Bondi, and then the own Cloud Eclipse and Cloud Monster. And the reality is all of these models offer max protection under your feet and everyone's perception of cushioning is different because it's so subjective. Our individual biomechanics will have a huge influence on how we feel cushioning under our feet. Having said that, how soft a midsole feels can have a huge impact on our perception of cushioning and the Cloud Eclipse from on are likely to feel the plushest of the three under your feet. So if you're looking for the most cushioned feeling running shoes out of Hoka and On, there's a good chance that On Cloud Eclipse are going to feel like that. Now, one model we didn't mention there was the Hoka Gaviota. While the Bondi Cloud Monster and Cloud Eclipse are all neutral running shoes, the Gaviota are stability running shoes. And On don't make an equivalent model in the stability category that offers as much cushioning as the Hoka Gaviota. So in contrast to the neutral running shoes, if you're looking for the most cushioned and protective stability running shoes, then the Hoka Gaviota are likely to be the best options for you as they offer more cushioning than anything in ON's lineup. When it comes to propulsion and energy return, it's fair to say the ON's daily mileage running shoes will feel more propulsive than Hoka's daily mileage running shoes, for example. 
The Cloud Monster feels very similar to the Bondi at slower speeds, but much better when you pick up the pace. And that's just down to the way that the Cloud Tech cushioning works and the fact that that full length speedboard creates a really energetic and responsive sensation under your feet. We should note that Hoka's Mac could be used as daily mileage running shoes and they offer a very energetic underfoot experience. But on the whole, if you're looking for shoes which will respond well to a lot of different paces and feel propulsive across a wide range of speeds, then you really should be looking to on over Hoka. When it comes to support, all of Hoka and On's neutral running shoes offer the same level of support. While one runner might find one brand more supportive within that category, another will find the opposite. So you simply cannot say that one brand's neutral running shoes offer more support than another brand's neutral shoes, particularly when it comes to Hoka and On. However, the same cannot be said when it comes to the stability category. While On's Cloud Runner does offer more support and structure than their neutral running shoes, the Hoka Arahi and Hoka Gaviota offer much more support than On's Cloud Runner. So if your feet pronate to a greater degree and you have unstable ankles, then it's much more likely that you're going to find a suitable option from Hoka's lineup than On's because there's more choice and the stability on offer is greater. When it comes to durability, again, it's hard to draw blanket comparisons. However, there's a little bit more variability between Hoka's lineup than there is in Ons. For example, if we look at the Bondi and the Clifton, you can see how there's quite a difference between the amount of outsole rubber between the Bondi and the Clifton. There's a lot more on the Bondi and that makes them a lot more durable. There's also a lot more cushioning in the Bondi. And yes, there's going to be some differences in cushioning between On's lineup, but typically the shoes wear down on a very comparable rate. And on a personal level, I found that all of my On running shoes have lasted at least 800 kilometers and quite often well on to 1,000 kilometers, whereas I've had a lot more variability with Hoka's running shoes. For example, when I get to about 600K in a pair of Clifton's, I have to retire them. So if you're looking for the most durable options out of the two brands, then you're probably going to be looking at either on running shoes or looking at the specific models within Hoka's lineup that have a lot more outsole rubber on the bottom of the midsoles. When it comes to fit, that is one of the hardest things to compare between the brands. While you might watch one review that says one brand is narrower than the other, you might watch another one which completely contradicts that. And that is just because fit is so subjective. The other part that complicates it is brands can change over time. For example, On used to offer quite a performance oriented fit, meaning they were quite narrow across the toe box, whereas that's changed considerably over time. And they're probably one of the most spacious feeling running brands in the toe box area around now. So that does mean if you've got a narrower foot shape, you might not find that on running shoes are the best fit for your feet. When it comes to Hoka, there is an amazing amount of choice when it comes to width. For example, the Bondi are built on a wider last than the Clifton. So if you have a broader foot shape, then you're probably going to want to choose the Bondi. If you have a narrower foot shape, then the Clifton are probably going to be the better option. And in the same way, the Gaviota are built on a wider last than the Arahi. So the same rules apply. However, all of these come in a wide fit version. So it really offers an amazing amount of choice to the runner, meaning you can get exactly the right fit for your feet. So you just have to know those differences and be aware that you can choose the wide fit options in all of the models. That brings me to the end of this Hoka versus On comparison episode. Thank you very much for watching. I know I probably haven't answered every question out there. So if you would like to know the specific differences between a certain On and Hoka model, then please comment below and we will answer any question. Thank you very much again for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please make sure and hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. See you soon.